know, just, just quickly, it's, you know, the types of games that you get in the CAA, there's so much parity and the teams are so all fighting. And, um, and you know, and that's – so we – you know, this is the kind of games that we're in. I'm sure it's the kind of games – a lot of the games that Wilmington's been in. And it's just, you know, I, I, I always think back and want to give credit to this league and the coaches and the players in this league for the types of games and the type of competition. And um, and I'm, I'm very appreciative. I'm appreciative of my guys for that fight, but I'm also really respectful of – of teams and coaches and, and, and what this league does. It's a, it's a grind every night out. Questions for Coach Brown. Fresh off. Barely clearing 50 against Charleston, you go for 100 tonight. I mean, it's kind of a night and day uh, you know, kind of battle your offense got going tonight. What, what allowed you guys to get in that flow and, and be able to do what you did? I think we were, we were, we were kind of overdue to have a night where um, – more guys contributed, and that's all it was. I mean, you know, I, I think it's kind of funny because people are going to look at the two games, and it really had nothing to do with anything except some of our guys, you know, even like DJ. We went to him a little more tonight and um, because we can't keep relying on, on Stucky and, and Matt. And even if you look at Darius Banks' first half, and then, you know, we challenged him in the second half because we can't, you know, and he's he's a kid who's, you know, had a really really good year and a really good career. Sure, you know, he's only a sophomore, but um, you know, but we we had to get some other guys involved, and I think this is only, you know, it, the only thing it has to do with is the fact that you know Devell came in and got a couple buckets, and um, and DJ got going a little bit, and we had more distribution, and I think we're harder to guard. I think we're really easy to guard when we have those two guys, and that's how we've been. Is it really easy to guard? I think it was it was um, honestly, as much as anything, Deshaun's, and I know it's just free throws, but it's his his freshman his maturity for a freshman. Um, I thought he was great in the huddles, but I thought all those guys, I thought Matt and, and Banks were also great in the huddle, and that's a freshman and two sophomores that were really doing a lot of the talking in the huddles. But you know, Deshaun stepped to the line and, and made free throws. I thought we got a couple of key stops, and to be honest. This team has fought with pretty much anybody for 20, 25 minutes. And, but then there's that 10 to 15 minutes where it's, I mean, it's gone. And if you look at the last four minutes of the half, we were up six and went in down, should have been down six. It was a layup miss on a turnover that we really got lucky. Um, could have easily been down six or eight at the end for being up six at the under four media. And, um, and, and so I thought that finally at the end of the game, we did enough. When you go 30 for 33 on the road, from the from from the free throw line, you give yourself a chance to win, and maybe in the past we didn't make that free throw. We didn't handle the press very well. We want you know, just a lapse here and there. And I'm gonna be honest with you, Deshaun fouled a three point shooter late in the game, so it it'll rear his head a little bit. But again, we have to keep growing. And I thought that maturity down the stretch and finally saying we gotta grow up and we gotta try to finish a game. And uh, you know what it takes to finish that game. Good possessions on offense and some solid defense and, and rebounding and making free throws. I thought we did it tonight.